Time to value is a stupid metric to track and I'm gonna talk about it right now. I'm consistently asked what are the best metrics to track in implementation and why is that time to value? And the fact that everybody thinks it's time to value confuses me, maybe even triggers me just a little bit. I get it, I get the concept. Product marketers think there's this amazing magic moment when the customer's looking at your product and has this aha moment. So product marketers think you're gonna be on a, a, a fast-paced implementation call and then suddenly the customer's gonna be like, oh my God, and just be sitting there in total awe. My God, it's full of stars. Let me tell you, this shit never happens. Actually, it happened once, but it was just the customer was in awe on how truly terrible that their data was. Customer wants to know when they're going live and what are the blockers. They don't want to think they're staring at some monolith or some concept that they've never seen before. They're focused on the task at hand. That's why we should be looking at time to launch. Why do they want to know this? You probably just displaced a vendor and they want you to be live so that before their next bill comes in so they don't have to pay for you and this previous vendor. So that's why time to launch is a very important one. The biggest reason why I preach time to launch, I'm just gonna say TTL versus TTV, is that TTV is subjective. As a manager and as an employee, you don't wanna be tracked by subjective methods, right? How do you track aha in a CRM? Is there a select field? Is it eyebrows raised? Is it dropped coffee cup? I have no idea. Do they jump up and visibly say, I get it? No, so let's put down the fantasy. Instead, let's work with the concept of SMART goals. For review, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and timely. Now let's put TTV and TTL through that criteria. TTV, not specific. TTL is, it's the launch, it's going live. So TTV, somewhat measurable. TTL, very measurable. I don't know about you, but if my bonus is on something, I want it to be very measurable. Not like, eh, you kind of did a good job there. Both are achievable, I'll give it that. TTV is just not relevant for implementation, right? This value aspect, right? You're, you're making sure they are getting value out of it, but I view this as let's get them set up and get them ready to go on the product. TTV is also not a timely goal, right? What the time that they have this value. I'm actually not gonna get into this anymore. I, I find it ridiculous and you can come at me in comments on this. So let's put this concept aside for the TED Talks and the webinars. Your implementation team is focused on getting the customer configured and launched so they can achieve the key outcomes that they believe that they are gonna get when they sign the contract for your software. So we all love Jay Nathan, right? I posted something about this over the weekend and he said, I agree, Jeff, let's ditch the theoretical bullshit and get back down to basics. Solid launch, minimal efforts, fantastic support, consultative customer success, and access to a community of peer users. That's what we're looking for here. So the CSM team, once you transition to them after the launch, they're gonna continue and focus on the onboarding, making sure that they do see the value and they will eventually have this moment where they are like, oh my God, this is the most amazing product ever. But it's not something I measure on. It's, it's a goal, but it's not a measurable outcome. Put a link to SMART goals in the post. Uh, check them out. And I'd love to know what other SMART goals you're doing for implementation as well, too. Thank you. And let me know what you're doing. to. Thirsty. Let me try that one more time. Because I usually swear I talk about this.